Mark Davis is here in Winnipeg, but he's also keeping a close eye on everything that's going on in Southern Nevada. At the forefront is Allegiant Stadium and the construction project, a topic that lights his face up. When you go and, and tour the stadium site, what, uh, what are you seeing on the progress in terms of, is, is it coming together the way you envisioned it? Um, even more so. It's really amazing. Um, every time I go down there and see the stadium and drive by it, I think I'm going to drive by it, but then I have to stop and I have to go in, drive in. And uh, a lot of times I've been going in at midnight and seeing the night workers in there. There's a guy, Digger, who's in charge of the night shift there and the safety and everything else. But I go down there and I'll go down, stand on the 50 yard line in there and just look around and you got to pinch yourself. It's, it's going to be magnificent. Um, it's coming together. It's so beautiful. And it's just a dream for my family and the Raider organization, the Raider Nation as a whole. The parking situation. Are you comfortable with where, what that's going to be like at the stadium? Um, for me, parking, ingress, egress were always one of the top priorities in any stadium situation that we, we chose. Las Vegas presented a whole different dynamic than any of the other places that we've been. Um, with the hotels on the strip and the potential for people to do pre-game tailgating at all those different places, we realized that parking on site wasn't going to be as important as making sure that ingress and egress through the walking, through ride sharing, and those types of things were taken care of and big priority put on those. So we're fairly confident that by putting parking areas east, west, north, south of the stadium and busing or, or bringing people in through shuttles would be a much more efficient way than having one big parking lot and everybody trying to converge in one place at one time. Football's an interesting thing. People show, start showing up at 6, 8, 7, 10 in the morning, but they all leave basically at the same time. So ingress is a lot different than egress. And uh, we believe that with the strip being involved in it and being a big part of the process of the, the game day experience, I think we're going to have a very unique situation. I'm not concerned at all. I also spoke with Davis about the Raiders headquarters and practice facility being built in Henderson and the organization's commitment to helping out in the community. You'll hear that in part two of our conversation that will air in our postgame newscast. With the Raiders in Winnipeg, I'm Kevin Bollinger. Let's send it back to you guys in Las Vegas.